Energy Cap version 7 focuses on making your life easier with faster screen interactions and easier to use and understand workflows. Smarter by providing advanced dashboards, improved benchmarks, and a new generation of reports to help you focus on what's most important. Friendlier, you'll find that entering, updating, and viewing your information is more intuitive. Version 7, which is HTML-based, allows you to use common browser functions, such as the forward and back buttons, to easily move around the application, open multiple EnergyCap tabs, or, for example, when you need another EnergyCap user to review a bill, simply send the bill URL in an email rather than explain what account and billing period to select. Quickly move between modules by selecting from the menu. Tabs and subtabs for each object display a variety of information. For example, on the Buildings and Meters tree, drill down to a meter to view bills, interval data, or the properties of the meter. Need more information before completing an action in EnergyCap? Two types of help are available from within the application. Anytime you see this question mark, more information is available right on screen. Most often, this help panel is found on forms when you are creating an object or importing information. By default, the help panel is displayed, but you can hide it when you want, and it stays hidden until you decide to show it again. If the help panel isn't available for a page or you still need more information, the question mark at the top of the page provides article suggestions based on the page you are on. If you aren't interested in any of the suggested articles, you can always click here for more information. The Create button can be accessed from any screen. From here, you can enter or import bills, import interval data, create an object, or access setup spreadsheets. Your user role determines what options are visible to you. Often, our best ideas and suggestions come from our clients. If you have a suggestion or idea, you can submit them directly to our development team by selecting Request Feature from the Help menu. Administrative tasks are found in the Module menu. Let's take a look at the Accounts Module menu. Here, you can configure general ledger subcodes, move or delete cost centers and accounts, decide how you want objects displayed in the Accounts tree, and can decide if you want to display inactive accounts. If your user role allows, the Settings menu is where you configure the system settings and manage user roles and permissions. Without edit permissions, you can still view the current settings. User roles and permissions has three areas, active users, inactive users, users aren't deleted but rather made inactive, and the third tab, the roles and permissions, which has the default roles and number of users assigned to each. Each section can be expanded to see more details. Default roles can't be deleted, but they can be copied and modified. This wraps up the overview of version 7.